Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. The average salary of a front end engineer is $120,000. Meanwhile, ChatGPT costs only $20. So, it's obvious what most people are choosing these days. Even some front end developers have started using AI to generate boilerplate UI for inspiration or to generate code from their Figma or mock up designs. It's pretty cool, to say the least. And even if you consider the least, front end engineers are getting some great AI tools to play around with, which are making their workflow a little more hassle free. I mean, who wants to drag around those boxes and do so much stuff to generate a basic UI when you can type in a prompt and get a basic UI generated? Obviously, fan companies won't use it, but it's actually a godsend for one-man army developers who make their startups from their dorm room, thinking they'll get one billion users on the day of launch. But they get zero. It's pretty sad. Anyway, to cash in on this opportunity, Vercel even created their own tool named V0, which allows you to create a front end from a simple text prompt or screenshot. But that's paid and isn't open source. So, soon after that, open source came to play, and multiple open source alternatives to V0 started popping up. One of the major ones in this play was OpenUI. OpenUI allowed you to self-host it and use it to create your high-quality UIs. I also did some videos on it. I also did multiple other videos on similar alternatives. But today, I have another such alternative, and that's called Rapid Pages. Rapid Pages is an open source project that allows you to give it a prompt, and it can generate some great looking UIs for you in React and Tailwind. It currently only supports these languages. You can either set it up locally or try it out from their hosted demo. Once your code has been generated, you can preview it live. You can also make changes to the generated design by giving it a follow up prompt. Also, if the follow-up goes in a direction you didn't want it to go, then you can also undo the design by using their timeline feature. It's pretty cool. Currently, it only works with OpenAI API keys, but you should be able to change the code to make it work with Olama, since Olama is also OpenAI compatible these days. Anyway, you get the idea of what this does. But now, let's try it out. I'll be telling you how to use it locally. Although you can use this cloud-hosted version as well, it seems to be free. Anyway, let's get it installed. First, go to Rapid Pages GitHub page. Now, over here, copy this command and paste it into your terminal. Then, run it. This will get the repo cloned on your computer and will change your directory to that repo. Now, once that's done, subscribe to my channel. This is a very necessary step. Once that's also done, open this cloned folder in an editor. Now, rename this env example file to just env. Once that's done, open it up. Now, before changing anything, we'll need to set up a database for it. It uses a Postgre database by default. So, you can install Postgre locally and use it. But for some reason, it kept giving me errors and it is a hassle to set up locally as well. So instead, we'll be using Supabase. Supabase is free, so it shouldn't be an issue. So go to Supabase's website and get yourself signed up. Once you are signed in, you'll be asked to create a database. In the name, you can write whatever you want. Then, in the password, write a hard password and keep it in a safe place. We'll need it later. Once that's done, click on the Create button. Now, you'll see this screen. Now, over here, click on the Project Settings. Now, choose the Database option over here. Once you click it, you'll see this screen. Now, copy this string. Once copied, go back to the Code Editor. Now, paste the string instead of this pre-configured string. Once pasted, change this part with your password 
that you created at the first step. Now, once that's done, set up your OpenAI API key over here. Once that's also done, we'll need to set up a GitHub OAuth key. This is needed because it uses GitHub's auth flow for logging into the application. Anyway, to do that, first, go to GitHub settings. Now, scroll down and click on the developer settings option. Now, choose the OAuth apps option. Now, click on the register new app option. Once you click it, you'll see this screen. Now, enter whatever name you want over here. Now, we'll need to enter the homepage and authorization callback URL over here. You can get these URL variables from their GitHub page as written over here. Once you copy and paste those URLs, it should look like this. Now, click on the register application button. Now, you'll see this screen. Now, over here, create a secret key and copy both the secret key and the client ID and paste it like this over in the environment file. Once this is done, you're all set. Now, run these two commands. Once done, your application will be started. Now, open up port 3000 and you'll see this screen. You can go ahead and send in your prompts. At first, once you'll send the prompt, you'll be asked to sign in with a GitHub account for authentication. Make sure you do that. Then, you'll see that it's being built. Once it's built, you'll see the page like this. Here, you can see the page that it has built. It's pretty cool. If you make your prompt more detailed, it will make more detailed pages. You can also look at the code over here. It generates React code. Looks pretty cool. Then, you have the new option. This will send you back to the home page, and then you can create a new design. Then, you have the fork button. I don't know what this button does, because when I click it, nothing happens. Anyway, after that, you have the share button. You can share the design from here. Then, at the left, you can see the timeline where, if you give it a follow-up prompt and the design changes, and if you don't like the design, then you can go back from here. Let's try to ask it to add a nav bar at the top here. Okay, as you can see, it's added now. You can also see in the timeline a new thread is added. It's pretty cool. So, that's how you can generate UI with AI using Rapid Pages. It's a pretty cool alternative. Let me know in the comments if you'll be using it or not. It can really make you a pro programmer. But if you want to be an ultra pro programmer like these guys, you can also donate whatever you please to my channel. To do that, click on the super thanks button below this video and select whatever amount you wish to donate and be featured on this ultra pro programmers list. But if you don't want to be on this list and still be an ultra pro programmer, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.